Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Welcome to the crack of dawn. It is super early on our little farm. Yeah, I dyed my hair. It's not the right color. I have this hard thing where I can never pick the same hair dye two times in a row. But I loved the color I did it last time. But this is today's color. So I'm just going to go with it. It's 6 a.m. and somebody is driving down the tractor. I thought only so Gabby and I were up. It's either Sam or Sophie. Who do you guys think? Think now who it is. It's this beautiful girl wearing the same dress two days in a row. Baby bunnies? Uh, I noticed that these were not here when I came down this morning, so Gabby must have brought breakfast. Amanda, she need breakfast. She's a little grouchy. It's hard to wake up this early. But you guys know what waking up early means on the day-by-day -day farm. It means that somebody's itching to ride. They always give me the ponies. I didn't see them. I'm gonna make sure I got the right colors. I did not see the baby bunnies. I did not. I know, I miss them. I was looking at you and your beautifulness. Oh, but it was so cute with the little tail. I love bunny tails, but you know what I don't love? This thing. The same dress 10 days in a row. It is fine. I know, it's so super handy. I'll buy you some more. But you have a skirt and it's all clean. You could be wearing that. I'm not like the pants ready. Your roof pants are probably ready. Apparently it rained in the night, which might be detrimental to Gabby's riding today. The grass is actually a little bit wet, but like I said, we still have an hour to wait until they can ride. So hopefully Mr. Golden's son is going to dry everything up. Also on the day by day farm, it is chiropractor day. You guys know she comes every single month and today is the day and I'm excited. I love visiting her, I love seeing her, I love seeing our horses love getting treated and I love how our horses go after they've had the chiropractor here. So it's always a fun day when the chiropractor comes. People are saying we should put a fly mask on him, a fly mask, we should put a fly sheet on him. I should try on our zebra one just because it'll help keep the bites off of him. I mean, they're just little tiny bites, Tina's nothing. starting to beat him up too. Chino, oh wow. Which is good. Because Finn's that one annoying cousin. He is that annoying cousin, but just because you're annoying doesn't mean you should get beat up. He does, because he's like, okay, you're the boss when they tell him off, but then after when they leave, he like or when they turn their back, he's like, I'm the boss, I just fooled them. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go beat them up. But and then they'll be like, like no. And then he'll it's true. Boy. It's true. Ch Finn is that boy. He's the boy that's like, so kind to your face, like, oh, hi, how are you? I love your hair. And then the minute you turn around, he's like, oh, I hate her hair. And then every, the horses are always like telling him off all the time. But that does not mean that he deserves to be beat up. Just because he's an idiot and doesn't know better does not mean that he should be beaten up. But I don't really mean he's an idiot. I love him, idiot or not. Look how beautiful this girl is. Look at how sweet. Like, she's tall, she's lean, she's a fighting sit. machine. Molly, sit. Sit. Like she's just such a pretty, well-behaved puppy. Sit. Sit. Molly, sit. So horse number one to ride this morning is Finny. If you guys don't know, I already told you our chiropractor's coming. That means we can't ride today or tomorrow after she's here. Gabby, she's coming at noon, so you got your work cut out for you. And you guys probably did see that we made fun, amazing toys for our horses in last night's extra video. If you didn't see it, you should check it out. So fun. Uh, our video is actually on the Budget Equestrian channel, so if you want to see our video, and it was pretty funny. In typical day-by-day -day fashion, there was a whole lot of drama in that video, in our blooper section. Yeah, you'll have to watch it. Do you want to watch it? You guys never come to our premieres. Because I'm always playing with friends. Yeah, friends have to come before videos. Okay, so let's see. We Sophie made this one. It's got carrots. It's full of carrots. It's an icy popsicle treat for our horses. And Gracie's like, I'm not that hot. Let's go try Will. Oh, Will is gonna love it. Gracie does not want to have to work for it. Oh my goodness, you all are you're all dirty. Will is like the queen. She's more like the kind of person that's like, yes, bring it to me. I deserve everything. <laughs> it's scary. She doesn't trust us. Here's Alan. It's because we're always like, here it happens again. Willow, don't you even. I hate screaming, but if I scream, hey, Willow. Okay, she's just scared. If I scream at her, she doesn't do bad things. We ben. could 
put like a pole in the middle of the field and tie this to it. Mm -hmm. So they like in the middle of that field. Mm -hmm. We should. Gabby took Finny out of the paddock and Porcino. He wanted to go so badly. He tried so hard to get out. He wants her. He like he wants to ride. He wants to go with her. Actually, I have a really fun idea we can do while Gabby's tacking up because we all you know it takes her a while. I have another fun one. Come on, let's go. So this was another um, thing that I looked up like when we made our video the other day for our, uh oh, we should be really careful there. But anyway, I saw this one where people poke holes in a bucket. We didn't have good scissors. We just had this crazy knife, so it might not look perfect. But you do that and then you, that's okay. And then you hang it and your horses can come up and eat We're making a carrots. snowman. That's its legs and there's gonna be arms on this side. Wow, you were cutting the trees around the chicken coop? Yeah. Wow, now that is- That's a, scary. That is a good husband. You could chop someone's head off with that. So, I think we fixed the problem. I don't know what it is, but I have a few solutions for our chickens. But I drink my meal like 10 or 15 weeks. Yeah. So if you guys don't, can't tell, we are a family that believes in dreams. We believe in dreaming and we believe in the dreams that God sends us. I believe that God sends us the dreams that we have to help us stay in line. And sometimes they're hard to read because they're kind of coded a bit. But if you practice, you can get good at reading your dreams. Anyways, um, if you guys saw in yesterday's video, you will know that our chickens stopped laying. So we had two chickens laying as soon as we got them and then one stopped. And then actually yesterday, none laid. And that is unusual. Obviously a problem. So I'll tell you guys in a little bit later in the vlog what I did that I think is gonna fix them. And Sophie dreamed that we got a lot of eggs. So hopefully it is gonna fix them. Perfection. Perfection. We need to figure out a way to hang it now. There's a door. <laughs> oh well. Perfect is overrated. Perfect is overrated. Dad could probably. Upside down, that way he could have. Nah. Dad would be, Dad is way more crafty than me. So we've already established that Sophie is wearing the same dress for three days now. Uh, let's check out Gabby's outfit of the day. She's wearing her Debaku amazing saddle that is almost a year, I, wait a minute, is it already a year old? It's a year old. Yes. It was a year old in February. This is a year and no. I got it in November. You got it in February. We ordered it in November. Oh, then yes, it was a year old. Yeah, it's a year and a half old. And it'd still be looking fine. It'd still be looking so good. Yeah, the saddle's younger than me. Everything's younger than me. You're younger than Finn. Mm. Yeah, saddle's younger than Finn. Every time I go on each side of the, the horse, she switches over. Okay, let's show them what you chose to wear today. She's wearing her white Ogilvy saddle pad. People always ask me, what the heck is she wearing? Or what the heck is she? Blah, blah, blah. So today we're gonna tell you. She's also wearing her black vest, which is from Eddie Bauer. Eddie Bauer. She bought it at the mall. She loves that vest. She is wearing her tailored sportsman pants that were given to her by an amazing friend and subscriber. And she's also wearing a tempo base layer. It has mesh. Yeah, it has mesh for the heat. For the summer. For the summer. It's true. Your she mom, may look like it's she's cold dressed. in winter, but like warm in summer. I think. She may look like she's dressed for the winter, but don't let that fool you. She has actually got venting on those sleeves. So she decided to wear Mesh. navy navy and white today. Super cool. Super cute. This is Kaylee's and my like matching thing. So we both have this base layer and the saddle pad. Yeah, when you have a best friend, you try and dress like her. You try, try and dress alike. Yeah, we chose to buy this shirt. It is super fun to have matching things with people that you care about, but more importantly than that, it is important to be your own self and have your own style. And even if it goes against what everybody else is wearing, love your style. If you love it, people will just naturally accept it or love it along with you. Love it or hate it, it doesn't matter as long as you love it yourself. Yeah, that bug just landed on my arm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting this weird vibe that Sophie is getting Sam's creative side. She made this all by herself. I was gonna do it with an apple, but it didn't stay together. That's so cool, I love it. So where are you gonna hang it? But next carrot I do it on, it should go up higher so that they have more carrot to eat. Oh, that is a good idea. And also, I don't like loop, because imagine they put their, wow. oh. imagine they put their head in it and then they pull apart whatever, but go hang it. I think the ponies would love it. They're gonna be trying to eat this, not that. Yeah, but it's tricky. And horses, they can flip it. Horses do anything. Need me to adjust any jumps or anything? Go over it 
Do you ever feel like life sometimes is like nothing, 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 boom, everything all at once? Well, next week is gonna be a busy, exciting, incredible, amazing week for a whole bunch of things. There's a whole bunch of fun things happening next week. I can't wait to share them with you guys. But for now, right this second, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy watching my girl ride the horses. Don't forget to take a few minutes each day and enjoy all the little things, all the little things that make up the big things because they don't last forever. This horse is looking better and better every day. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm on I got it, I got it our most herd bound horse and now honestly I feel like our horses are the most herd bound to us all of them like Finn can hack out alone can ride alone like they can do all that now I don't know what happened I don't know what changed but having them at home and doing stuff with them all the time like all those minutes that we spend in the arena doing nothing but watching them and just being with them it literally changed our relationships like it's just shocking you guys you don't have to be the best rider. You don't have to ride your horse every day. It's so much easier than you think to be the center of your horse's world. All they want is to be with you and spend time with you. All right, this is freaky. Oh, where were you? Where were you? Oh, good job, Gabby. Do you need help to get Chino out? The only time this horse is pushy is when he it's thinks he's Finn. no. It's when he thinks he's getting his, his halter on. Like the the horse wants to go. Like I just love him. Oh, coming. oh and Storm's coming. Obviously, the horses did not get their fly mask this it morning. So well. That's because Chino's is all the way down there. All right, okay. Chino, we need your fly mask. Why you take it off? Fly mask on Storm, and you keep this on. It's a bit wet from the rain, so it's perfect. I did it all by myself. You go finish eating. You're not riding today. But you are getting the chiropractor, which you are gonna love. All of our horses love the chiropractor. So, do we love our morning rides the best? Mm. I, I love like them. Waking up. I don't like the waking up. It was so hard this morning waking up. Horse number two is sporting. He's like, is that food? Say hi. There are people out there that love you, Chino, that recognize you for the good horse that you are. So today, Horse number two is sporting another Ogilvy saddle pad. It's a half pad. This saddle pad. It's not a half pad. It's not a half pad? This is a baby pad. Oh, well, baby. Oh, that's what I meant. Sorry. It's another baby pad. This is a half pad because it's half the size. This is a baby pad because it's half the thickness. Got it, you guys? Don't ever make another mistake, Laura. Um, so Gabby likes wearing them in the summer because they're not as ha hot and she has the half pad. So it kind of balances out. Everything's got his studs no, in. He's got his gorgeous hair. He's got his gorgeous face. Seriously love the way she just walks away from her horse all the time. And he just does this. Like he's just so devoted to her. Like he just would never walk away from her. Do you like riding him as much as you like riding Finn? Yeah. Like I knew you love him, but he's more fun? Finn's more fun, yeah. That's what I thought. Like there's just something about Finn, you guys. Even though Chino is amazing and magnificent and fabulous. Like acting Like we were fiction in a book 
Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Stop, Steph? Yeah. I can see it too. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know Okay, so Sam cut down a bunch of branches and there's still no more light in here than there was before. But we also changed the watering system because to be honest, I'm not exactly sure if the watering system we had was working well. Go in there and lay an egg for us. Uh, I also decided to get a rooster because the other thing that I was worried about was that like if chipmunks are going in there, which obviously something is going in there, then uh, that could be stressful. So we're gonna go and get us a rooster. Come on, Stormy. Let's see who can get their horse here first. Come on, Stormy. Come on. Come on, Storm. Storm. Come on, Storm. Run, Storm. Put on your speed. Come on, race. Come on. Storm's bringing the whole crew in. Storm's like, Chino's always showing me up. Come on. Come here, Dan. Let's go. Horse Come on, Storm. Race. race. He only races if the other horses are gonna beat him. Come on. Storm. Storm. Come on. Come on, you lazy ball. See, Storm's got nobody now. Hi, Chino, I'm over here. <laughs> um, wrong girl. Hi. He knows his color. They know their colors. This is his helmet. I know, you, you got it wrong, dude. Oh, Finn's like, what is happening? Finny, they do be colorblind, though. He's like, can you just ride me? He's like, I just got ridden. What the heck is happening here? Storm, do not make me come there and get you. Oh, God. Storm, come on. Away. Yeah, everybody gets a horse but me. Come on, Dodo Brain, let's go. Or just walk nonchalant, slow as molasses. That could work too. So should I go? <laughs> this is what happens when you leave the girls in the barn unattended while you deal with the chiropractor. This, this is it, you guys. The mess of the girls. I also scrubbed a bunch of buckets. I'm gonna show them. So we got ourselves a rooster. We'll show you when we get him home. That was interesting. Got him. We're gonna take him home. Yeah, we uh, he had him in like a, a little dog, a cat carrier, I guess. Had him in a little cat carrier, and we tried to pull him out the door, but he was like, "No, I'm not gonna come." So then he's like, "Well, I'll just take off the lid," and I'm like, "Oh, that's gonna be rough." So he starts to take off the lid, and all of a sudden the rooster's like, oh, "I'm getting out of here." The only thing that saved our rooster from running free and us having to chase him around the yard was Gabby. His feathers. It's Gabby. I grabbed Gabby grabbed a hold of him and she held him there. Like it's Why like, didn't she close the door though? I don't know. She had the door open. No, I had the door closed, but then when he took off the lid, the door fell open. So this is our new man. He looks kind of old. Doesn't he look old? Looks mature. So we're going to treat him for some things before we put him in with our girls, just in case. Like worms and bugs just to make sure. And then after they get used to each other, we're gonna release him. Definitely looks old. Okay, so I know we got rid of two baby roosters and then recently decided that we needed a rooster. They got uh, my baby. And I like him actually. So he's like- You have to move slower. They said he was a year old, but it's actually his feet don't look that bad. Our roosters have never had this big of a thing. I know, it's his breed though. He's an Americana and he's so pretty. Does this hurt if you squeeze it? Well, not really. Oh, it feels neat though. No. Look at him, he's looking at the ground like, let me eat that, that grass. Look to the left, look to the right. Nothing can stop me in the night. Don't you know that you're beautiful?